Greetings YouTube, it's the Brain Damage Gamer here, and I have some Elite. I came back to Elite for a little bit because we have a bunch of new stuff that they've released uh, with this latest update. I thought it was just going to be the Engineers, but they kind of threw a whole bunch of other stuff in there and didn't bother telling anybody until kind of last minute for some of it, from what I understand. Some of it has already been seen in the betas, uh, but they just kind of chuck some of this at us real quick, like, hey, look what we're doing. So... All of that said, let's go ahead and dive straight into this and take a look at a couple of things. I did want to apologize in advance, though, if any of this does look like uh, stuff that they've already done and I just hadn't noticed it before this patch, my apologies. Uh, I have been out of this game for a little bit, so I guess take this uh, as BDG getting updated on what's going on. One of the first things we'll go ahead and look at is going to be the namesake of it, Engineers. This is going to be for those Horizon folks only, unfortunately. Uh, so you go down in to your right hand screen, you take a look, and they show you the known engineers. These are the engineers that I personally have information of. Uh, you may have more on your list or less, depending upon what you've done, where you've been. But here they are. Here's the, the base engineers you run with. Each of these engineers you can click on. They have information you have to collect in order to be able to do anything for them. So you have to learn about them first through public sources. You've gained access to this person because you're invited by somebody in the Blue Mafia in this one. Uh, on some of the th these others, gain to Todd because you earn more than 15 bounty vouchers. Uh, gain to access to the Dweller, you dealt with at least five black markets. It's basically all these little things. Uh, this one was interesting. They wanted me to at least be 300 light years away from their starting point. I hadn't been that yet, so I just hopped in a hauler and headed literally just straight down on the star map. <laughs> and then went back up once I hit the 300 marker. Now I have to go and provide them three units of some relics. But more importantly, what they're going to be doing is this particular person that we're looking at right now is going to give me bonuses to frame shift drives or shield generators. So as you access them, you get more information as far as blueprints and things like that, more that you can actually do for them. Uh, and then obviously each one has those different things. Uh, I'm going to have a separate... Uh, tutorial type video that I'm going to be putting up for engineers. To be perfectly honest, I think it's time I redo all my tutorial videos anyway uh, for the simple fact that I have better equipment and the game runs better now because I have better equipment and it looks better, it sounds better, in my opinion, uh, the stuff I'm doing right now. Also, they've changed so much, my old stuff isn't going to apply anymore. So I, I am going to have to reshoot all of that. Look for that uh, probably in the next one to two weeks uh, just because it takes time to edit and get everything put together. Something else I didn't do before. All those previous videos, I had to shoot in one go. Uh, if I screwed up 15 minutes in, nuke the whole video, start over again. But I can edit now, so that's a good thing. Uh, mission board. Massive changes here. They changed all sorts of stuff in this area. And it takes a while to load now sometimes, too. I've noticed that for myself. This little standby has sat here for up to a minute that I've seen before. Oh, there we go. So, we have all sorts of new information here. Uh, we have little representatives. People over here that are supposed to be representing the various factions that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, I have seen that as you click on them, it gives you more information as to what they're going to be doing. Like, who they work with. Superpower who they work for, they're currently in a boom, pending states of expansion. This particular faction owns almost everything here. And then I'm allied with them, gives me that reputation. And then you can see the various things I can and cannot do down here. Most of this is cargo related, so I can't do it. Uh, data delivery, I theoretically could do that. I'm not going to bother. It also does specifically say that it's actually going to give me my reputation, explaining what's going on with that. So that's always nice. Uh, because that was the big thing that a lot of us had problems with, uh, was whether or not it's going to affect reputation or influence for that particular faction. These guys want some donations. These guys need me to go do some deliveries. Lots and lots of deliveries, I've noticed. Uh, I'm looking for my shooting missions. There's not as many of those. It's kind of like they gave up on that. They also give you the community goals where you can look at these various community goals that are just happening out in the star system. And then, oh look, here we are. Here's one if I go and hand in bounty vouchers, then I could get into this. I haven't done anything on this yet. I just kind of picked it up because I was like, hey, why not? 
But that's nice to be able to find all that in one little spot as opposed to having to go dig around and figure out where what's going on where. Contacts is all the same. So another screen that received a bunch of updates. This is one of the ones I'm going to have to redo for my tutorial stuff. It's outfitting. It's completely different. <laughs> um, hard points. It now actually shows you the max that you could have. The little pips down here. Uh, it's all the same information as far as what it is you're buying. They've updated weapons though, so there's bigger versions of various weapons now. Uh, for example... Uh, let's see... Well, we always had level 4 plasma. Here we are, level 4 beam lasers. Holy crap. Yeah, see? Look at that. All this wonderful information. Again, I'm going to do a proper tutorial on this later, but they've put it all right here, doing comparisons to what you currently have, what it's going to do, all that fun stuff. But I imagine a level 4 beam laser is no freaking joke to get hit with. I'm going to have to test that out later, even though it sucks up some juice. Holy crap, does it suck up some juice. But yes, massive changes on how this is configured. And then you have utility mounts, which is your chaff flares, all that fun stuff. Shield boosters. Core internals. And then these are the things that you're used to seeing. And optional internals. Again, we've all seen this stuff before. I still like that they've been... I don't know why they keep bothering to put this in a slot. It's literally the only thing you can put in there. <laughs> uh, I think they should just kind of integrate it in, but maybe it's because that's that's how they differentiate between the different versions of the game. I don't know. And then all of your typical things you could do before with your various dashboards and all that. You can do filters to only see certain things. As well as, down below, they give you all of your core stats, as well as retracted and deployed, which I think is a nice little thing to see. Because this, being able to just immediately see that is awesome. Especially the insurance. Insurance right there, huge help. So that way I know if I'm starting to get a little bit too high for how much I should be doing. I'm a little broke right now. I've been spending money on buying other ships. I have too many ships right now. I've got several just kind of scattered here and there as well. Uh, shipyard's the exact same. They haven't changed any of that. Yeah, see I've got ships all over the place three of them here uh commodities market not really a big trader but hey it's all here indicating supply and demand they put little markers on them as well to indicate those numbers a little bit more efficiently so you at a glance can kind of tell what's going on oh, yeah, i have got a whole bunch of cartographic mapping i need to dump off forgot about that Incoming message. oh Apparently that promoted me. <laughs> I while well, I was out in that hauler getting to from point A to point B, I was like, yeah, why not? While I'm out, I'll go ahead and just collect a bunch of stuff. I am already here. I'll scan. Why not? All right, folks. Well, let's go ahead and we're gonna take it out for a second. I can show you some of the other stuff that's gonna be floating out in space now. Let's take a look and see what's in here with the weapons fire. Alrighty. Straight out the gate, getting somebody to shoot at me. These Imperial Eagles can be a little rough till you get the good angle on them. Like so. Are you the cops, or are you just kind of interested parties? Interested parties. Yeah, y'all can scan to your heart's content. I'm not doing anything wrong. Oh, that's kind of cool. He thought I had a bounty on him. He was specifically looking for a bounty. I can appreciate that. Ah, I'm facing the wrong way. On other ships, that's not as big of a deal. But on the Fertilance, you have a giant nose. First off, the pad's different. It looks different. See that? That's unusual. Because they haven't ever done anything really. And look, it's not the same little buildings in front of where I'm going to be landing. So, also odd. Let's 
go ahead and take a look inside the hangar. Now wait a minute. That doesn't look the same as what I'm used to seeing. Nor does this. Stone walls. It's the little touches that they add that make these games so much better. I'm gonna turn off my external lights. It's the little things, even the lighting's slightly different. That there's not the constant layer of steam coming off of everything down here. So it's little touches like that that I've appreciated with the changes. Uh, the services are all still the same though. And restock of 3K, repair, refuel. And let's see what happened with my contacts. How much did I make? Eh, 118, not bad for just popping a couple of random targets because I was bored. I haven't seen as many high value targets. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's just something I've just happened to not notice. Uh, the mission board is the same. Uh, it's the same types of contacts. The missions may be different, as you can see here. Lots of data delivery is what they're trying to give me. It is interesting, though, to see the little faces now. Not complaining. Adds a little bit to it. I imagine a year or so from now, we'll be looking back at this and be like, ah, oh, they just had pictures back then. I bet they're going to put an animated models at some point in time. Who knows? It, it, it's a quick overview. It's a little snapshot of some of the things I've noticed already as far as the patch. I went and looked up. There's a ton of notes in there as well as a lot of things they've added. I am going to be throwing a link for that down below. So feel free to go ahead and click on that so you can actually see the direct patch notes if you want. I would take an hour to read off everything and explain everything for all the things that they've added to this with these updates. Uh, there are sections of this that are for just the regular players as well as the people who have the Horizon expansion. So I do encourage you to go take a look and see which notes do apply to you and which ones don't. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave those down below. I always do try to read through those whenever I get the opportunity. Uh, I would like to have more information as far as you know what people are interested in with this game or what they're interested in as far as uh, information for tutorials or things like that. So feel free to drop that down below and I'll try to get back with uh, everybody as quick as I can. As always, I am the Brain Damage Gamer, and game on.